Now this is not too bad. I can just pick it up with my fingernail. Hi guys, it's Beamer Zen again with another short video. So this is a follow-up on my disassembly of the intake Venus unit on the N42 engine. And uh, you can check my other video in the description down below or up in the card. And today I will be disassembling my exhaust Venus unit and see what's going on. Now usually the exhaust Venus units are more prone to failure, so I am really interested in uh, what's going on. We will have to use two pieces of soft wood and uh, TS30 star attachment. This is five point and that's because these Venus units, they have uh, security bolts that only have five points. First, I'm going to remove this impulse sending gear. We don't need it here. And as you can see, this is the exhaust side. Now, uh, the Venus units usually wear on this aluminum backplate where the veins are shifting or rotating and they eventually wear out the aluminum backplate and then the oil can get past and that will cause all sorts of issues. Another issue that I think is uh, quite common, as you can see, the oil is baked onto the surface and I think that if the oil bakes into the surface inside this uh, pin area, the locking pin starts to get uh, sticky so it doesn't drop all the way down and it doesn't lock the exhaust Venus unit and that can probably cause rattling on the startup. So this is this uh, characteristic uh, startup rattle that you have that lasts about one or two seconds and then it uh, stabilizes and I think that's because the units are not locked and the pin is stuck open. And uh, this usually happens like intermittently. So uh, one morning you have the rattle and the next you don't have it. So uh, this is why it's a bit hard to diagnose. So I'm going to open it up and see what's going on. So I have my Venus unit in the vise and now I'm going to use my TS30 security torque and just undo the bolts. Now I'm going to remove three of the bolts. Now I have inserted this threaded rod and a couple of nuts. So this is because I don't want the torsion spring to slip and scratch the surface. So this basically just keeps everything tight together and when I remove the two bolts it won't jump apart and try to scratch this uh, backplate. So let's see what happens. So as you can see it is trying to rotate out of position. Okay. I hope that you could see that this back plate rotated. So this is the way to disassemble the Venus unit and this is also the way we're going to put it back together. Now we can remove this. And here we have this metal plate at the front. So this is where the wear can happen. You can see we do have some spots. Now we can remove the back plate. Here you can see the grooves. So we're going to clean it out and check everything. Here is the torsion spring. Now we have to remove the locking pin. So 
So this locking pin should slide in and out freely, but if the oil gets baked on this area over here, it might get stuck. Well, this one is moving quite freely. I can't feel much resistance. So here is the pin. And here is the sprocket part. So we're going to clean everything. And uh, check for damage. So here are the veins. They usually don't get too worn out. And here is the rotor part. This is where the pin locks in place. Okay, so this is the disassembly of the exhaust Venus unit. Now Again, I'm going to clean everything and uh, then I'm going to inspect it. Everything is nicely cleaned and now it's time to inspect the components. So here is the first plate. You can see there is a little bit of wear signs here, but this is uh, steel and it's quite tough. So not much wear here. I can just about feel a little bit of an edge here. So this is not ideal, but also not too bad. Then we have this aluminum plate and this one usually is the worst. And you can see there is a couple of spots where you can see wear marks. Now this is not too bad. I can just pick it up with my fingernail. So maybe here you can see the groove is a bit deeper, but nothing you can really feel with your fingers. So this is not too bad, but it's not perfect. And uh, you could probably resurface this and give a couple of uh, years on the working life of the component. So if your Venus is really bad, this backplate is really worn, you could probably just uh, use a lathe and just skim off a little bit so it's nice and flat again. I don't think that would uh, hinder the performance of the Venus. And then we have the rotor. There isn't much going on here. You can see there is a little bit of wear here, but it's really, really not that deep. Here you can see the hole where the locking pin slides and here on this edge 
there is a little bit of wear but nothing too big i think the pin should slide easily into this socket here so i think this is okay then we have the fins the fins have a little bit of wear here but i don't think that is anything too bad So I think that the fins are okay. Then we have the locking pin. You can see that there is a little bit of groove here. But nothing I can pick up with my fingernail. So I don't think this is too bad. Then we have the spring, looks okay. And then we have the stator or the sprocket. Again, nothing too major going on here because this is a hardened steel, so the wear is not that bad. Now you can see a little bit of wear here, but uh, this is not so critical because the fins are under tension with the help of these little springs so they are always pushed against the outer diameter of the sprocket so it should seal just nicely so uh, yeah nothing really too concerning here there is a little bit of wear here but I don't think that's too bad. As long as the pin is not sticking, it should be okay. So the pin slides just fine. So this is the state of my exhaust Venus. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Now I'm going to put the Venus unit back together. So I'm going to put fresh clean oil on the surfaces. Okay. Now we can put in two bolts. Actually, we don't need bolts at this point. I'm going to put some oil here. I'm going to make sure that everything fits back in its original position. So I can see there's a mark here. So this is probably actually, you can see three dots here and they have to fit this, this and this hole. So this should get back in this position. Okay, then we have the pin. Now I'm going to put back the spring. And now it's time to put back the veins. And then we have to put back the little springs. They have to be oriented 
like this. Okay, the fins are in. Now we have to put back the torsion spring. And now we put back the aluminium plate. So to get the back plate in correct position and tension the torsion spring, we will have to rotate it clockwise. So this notch here has to line up with this notch over here. So I'm going to use my threaded rod setup again. Venus unit is back in the vise, so I've clamped it down so it can't rotate, so it's quite stable. Now I'm going to rotate the plate and try to tighten down the bolt. Okay, the first bolt is in. Now we can remove this contraption. And now we just have to put back the rest of the bolts. Now we have to torque them to 10 newton meters. And our exhaust Venus unit is back together. Now it's going back inside the engine because I'm working on another issue. So uh, I am working on rough running cylinder number four. You can check my next video on that if you are interested. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you have N42 or N46 engine. So keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.